Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my everyday makeup routine for you all, which is this look here. So if you'd like to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. I'm starting off by using two primers, the Too Faced Hangover RX just to moisturize my skin and make sure that nothing is dry or flaky or gross. And then just the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer to even out the pores on my skin. Moving on to foundation now, I'm using the Clarins True Radiance Foundation in the shade Honey. This has definitely been a staple for me recently. It just matches my skin tone so well and it lasts amazingly throughout the day. Not to mention that it photographs beautifully. Now to cover up my dark circles, which sadly are hereditary, I'm just going to be using my Bobbi Brown Corrector in the shade Peach. Now to fill in my brows, I do prefer to use a more gel-like product, so I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in two shades, which is dark brown and also medium brown. Now to prime my eyelids, I'm just going to be using my favourite eye primer. This one's from NARS and I don't experience any creasing when I use this. It's absolutely amazing. Now to make that corrector just look a bit more skin toned, I'm going to be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla just as a little bit of a highlight and then I'm also going to run that down my nose, a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my chin. Now I'm just going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Stick in the shade Toffee, I do believe, and I'm just going to cream bronze with it. On a daily basis, I don't like to contour, so I do like this step just so it lasts all day and that my face still looks defined but doesn't look completely sculpted. One of my most favourite products from the drugstore is the Australis AC On Tour Contouring and Highlighting Kit. I'm just taking that middle banana shade and I'm just going to set underneath my eyes. Now taking my favourite face powder in the whole wide world, this is the Bourjois Healthy Balance Press Powder. I have mine in the shade number 53 and I just feel like it matches my skin tone perfectly and it keeps me matte for so long. Now taking my Benefit Hula Bronzer, I always come back to this, it's absolutely divine. I'm just putting that lightly over where I use that cream Maybelline Fit Me Stick. Taking this shade called Nudie from Too Faced, I'm just going to be applying that with a fluffy brush from my lash line all the way up to my crease. And now taking the shade Cashmere Bunny, I'm just going to be applying that to my outer third just to give my eye a little bit of depth. Now I'm so sorry but for the life of me I can't remember the name of this palette but I'm just taking their off-white ivory shade and applying that to my brow bone as a highlight. And again using the palette that I have no idea what it's called but I will write it down below. I know it's from Stila. I'm just mixing three shades together and making like a mid-toned brownie colour just to give my eye a bit more depth. I should have used Nudie like I did in the first step of the eye look but instead I took this mid-tone brown and I'm just applying this to my lower lash line just applying it super smudgy and I just love how this turns out now I do know that this shade here is called kitten I'm just gonna be applying that to the center of my eye just to make my eyes look a bit more rounded time for mascara I'm just gonna be using the L'Oreal Miss Manga mascara in the shade black And now I'm just going to apply some false eyelashes. These are the Ardell Wispy Lashes and I always, always, always use the Duo Lash Adhesive in clear. Mm -hmm. 
now I'm just going to be taking my favorite blush of all time. This is MAC Warm Soul Blush and I'm just going to lightly tap this onto my cheeks. To be completely honest, I have no idea how to put on blush, so I kind of just put it on and hope for the best. Now using the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Highlighter in the shade 01, this is absolutely divine. On a fluffy brush, I'm just going to be applying this to the tops of my cheekbones. I don't do this step every single time I do my makeup, but I thought that today I would use a finishing powder. This one here is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light. I do feel like you do notice a difference when you have this on, especially in photos. You just look absolutely flawless. I would highly, highly recommend it. Lining my lips with my favorite lip liner from Too Faced. This is in the shade Perfect Spice. It's just a really, really beautiful lip liner to just slightly overdraw and also define the lips. Now I'm going to apply some lipstick. This one is by Urban Decay in the shade Native and it's just so, so beautiful for everyday wear. It's not too matte, but it's not too glossy that it isn't going to last on your lips. It's just a really, really nice formula. And this is the completed look. I love to wear this look on an everyday basis. It's so easy to just put together and I feel like it's so glamorous but still so simple at the same time and I wear it so, so often. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.